We've all seen those hazy days this summer when the ozone air pollution is so high, we're told to even avoid going outside. Way too many days like that. Well, tonight, CBS4 investigates with a closer look at a major plan to reduce ozone pollution across nine counties on Colorado's Front Range. CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss joining us. And Katie, we know it's a big problem, but not everyone's happy with the plan. Absolutely, Jim. You know, this plan is designed to combat that ever increasing air pollution that we see across the Denver metro regularly. It's a plan that will be presented both to the state and to the EPA, but some advocacy groups feel it just doesn't go far enough to tackle all of the roots of the problem. We shouldn't have to accept dozens of dirty ozone days every single summer. Danny Katz with the Colorado Public Interest Research Group has been fighting for more strict policies in this state implementation plan designed by the Regional Air Quality Council to lower ozone air pollution over the next several years. The council planning to vote on it this Friday. We really want to make sure that plan is aggressive. We have for years missed the healthy ozone cutoff. While the plan's new preface contains several suggested measures to help, like possible prohibitions on gas-powered lawnmowers, Kat says the plan itself doesn't have much teeth. And I'm just not seeing a lot of specific policies or examples that they're putting forward for our state to adopt. But David Sabatos with the council says the plan will make a difference. It just takes time for the solutions to show an effect. This plan puts best practices that we've been working on over the last few years. One of the highlights of the program, he says, is the requirement of a new reformulated gasoline that's cleaner burning to be sold in some areas of the Denver metro. He says it could increase gas prices by up to 30 cents in the next two years, but should significantly reduce emissions. It's already being used in a lot of other parts of the country um, where they're seeing some improvement. Other measures included in the plan are fees for major industrial polluters and stronger motor vehicle emissions checks. Do we need to be regulating everyone needs to take the bus? That's not really the way this works, um, but if we can be working hand in hand with community, with industry, we can be getting there. Now, again, that plan will be up for a vote this Friday, and it is open for public comments. If you'd like to attend that meeting, we put information on how to attend uh, for you on our website, cbscolorado.com. Also on our website, I've put a link to the full plan if you'd like to take a read. Reporting live in Denver tonight, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Katie, thank you.